Well, I'm doing another short run. Picked up a factory machine in Ontario and heading over to uh, Pennsylvania. It's a legal size, uh, not heavy. Just had to be tarped. And no problem with loading. We put it on, uh, put it on the blocks. Uh, those, you know, this is the first time I use these uh, eight inch um, old blocks, works great. I put four at first on each corner, and then the shipper said he, he'd be happier if uh, I used six. So I used four short ones, and then if you remember my last video where, where, when I, I showed how I was, uh, I got them. So I have two long ones, like two, um, like two and a half feet long. So I put those in the middle. And six chains. Four would be enough, and I had to hide my uh, oak timbers in here. So riding with my axle up because of the low weight. So that's where I keep my tarps. Uh, the only thing is, uh, still have to figure out where to. You know, it's difficult to tie them down here. Uh, because there's all these hoses, right? So when I put my tops in here, I use that bracket over there. And there's one over here. And I just put my uh, strap in there, but there's only one. There's another one over oh, on the bag over there, but... Well... So I'm still, uh, I'm like pretty much going to Pittsburgh and this is Portersville uh, Portersville uh, Pennsylvania now somebody is uh, ready to play some golf all right so I checked the load everything is good no issues. We're gonna grab coffee and uh, keep tracking south. Uh, we're talking to a company about uh, about a heavy dozer. I try to figure out if it's too heavy or not too heavy. But uh, the broker requested a specialized heavy trailer. And I, yesterday I checked uh, the uh, specs of that dozer online and it's not that tall. Like I can do it with, uh, with a drop side rail because I'm only, I'm less than 15 inches of the ground in here, right, because of this. So I can load pretty big machines. We're almost there, so I'm, I'm, I'm parked in front of the building. Uh, the big crane just backed into the building. Now I'm waiting for the crane to set up, you know, they have to move out those support legs. There's a bunch of guys uh, standing outside my machine. And it looks like it's a new plant, like it's an old plant and they're doing a total retrofitting. Uh, so they're putting new machines in. When they unload this, they pretty much they have to know the place and the orientation, how to put it in on the floor. Uh, but inside is pretty much empty. It's like there's a couple of machines, but they're not yet set up. They're not installed, so it's a future plant. I'm thinking it'll be making uh, either like metal parts or plastic parts or something like this machine can make anything as long as you put in the design uh, they're very useful and the reason I have these glasses on instead of these ones because I'm using those um, is it? I'm all prepared I have two glasses these are for driving uh, during the day and oh see automatic and these are driving in the dusk and at night they make everything 
like all the glare goes away and actually they improve your eyesight and also I use them uh, for protection to protect the eyes
That's not Shiro. 